This is video number one of how to put your V8 model engine together by Plays. When you get this, there's going to be a lot of little pieces parts. Some of it may even look like candy. So please make sure you have this up and away from uh, little ones that may try to want to eat the pieces. Please keep track of all your pieces as best you can. I've provided a little box of different um, an organization box with different little trays to put in so put all your pieces parts in there keep it out of the way of small kids and animals as we go through this video I will show you how to assemble this engine and we'll also talk about the pieces and parts associated with this engine and how they relate to each other. This is similar to what you would see in the real automotive world, but there are definitely a lot of differences, and we'll go over that. And also, remember if you have any questions, please stop and ask me. Uh, just shoot me a email, and let me know what your questions, comments, or concerns are. Now, what we're going to do is, as we go through and start putting these pieces together, these videos are going to be 10 minutes or less. And whenever you get to the end of the video, as you're assembling this engine, that's where you need to stop. Don't go any farther. Take a picture of it and send it to me through email or Google uh, Drive there. And that way I can see that you are completing this project. Do not work ahead. Follow the videos. Alright, so when you open your box, open it carefully, okay, you ought to have this right here box with, and this thing stacked full of parts and pieces, okay? So the first thing I did was I took all my big pieces and put in here, and just kind of threw them in here, and I got it right there. The next thing I did was I took the plastic storage tray like this. Uh, I separate all my pieces and parts. There's two packets of screws. These screws right here are just a little bit bigger than these screws, and that's going to come into play later. So you have two different size screws. Don't mix the screws together. If you look at them real close, you can see there's a size difference. But I put all the rest of my parts, like all my valves are here, my pistons were over here, and uh, my connecting rods are like right there. And stuff like that, and your um, timing belt and stuff I have over here. Um, looks like your camshaft sprockets, all your sprockets and stuff is right here. So separate them all out. What you need to do is you need to twist them off these racks they came they came on. Okay, twist them off and get them off. Try to make sure they're as clean as possible. And what I mean by that is, if you have a little piece here, I don't know if you'll be able to see it or not. This little piece right here. That may cause assembly issues. Uh, you need to pick that off with your fingernail. Uh, hopefully you can get off with that. Uh, if you decide to use a, some kind of pocket knife or something, just don't cut yourself. Be careful. Um, but make sure these are clean because they will uh, cause assembly issues. Okay. The next thing I want to point out is this thing, this kit comes with this little Phillips head screwdriver. Okay. Uh, this should be the only tool you use. You should not be using any other tools than just this one. After you get all your parts disassembled, um, the next thing I did, after I got all the stuff in the bin there, I found my base here, and I went ahead and put my batteries in here. Okay, And that's going to give us a uh, lifelike engine sound later. This is our base. Okay, All right. In your box, you ought to be able to find a book looks just like this. It's got a lot of good information that we'll talk about later of how an engine op the internal combustion engine operates, including all the strokes, all four of them. And then you have all your pieces parts here is what they look like, is what you should have. And here's your screw A, screw B, and screw C. You have 49 of the C, 56 of the B, and looks like you have one of the A um, type screws. 
So here's your block and list all your parts. All right. Assembly. Step one. They say put your piston. That's a piston pin, and that's a connecting rod. So what that looks like is this. This is a connecting rod. This right here is a connecting rod. This right here is your piston pin. And it says you want to put it put it in there like this. Okay, the piston pin holds the connecting rod to the piston. The connecting rod cr connects with the crankshaft. So you have your crankshaft, connecting rod, piston, and it goes up and down, okay? Now, they say put it in um, the connecting rod first. I find it easier by laying the piston down, installing my piston pin first, like that, installing my connecting rod next, and installing the other half of the piston. Now, I've never in my life seen a piston that split uh, in a real engine. So I'm 99.9% .9 sure they don't exist. So when you get, if you were to get new pistons and put in your car, they're going to come all as one piece here. Now they do have a, um, a piston pin, and that's either pressed in or it's pressed in and put in with uh, little clips to hold it in keep from coming out. And it should wiggle freely okay if you can't do that you need to back up and punt and see what's going on because if this thing's um catching it all it's not going to turn right in the in the engine all right so the next thing let me do that uh, the next thing i want you to do is if you look at this they say okay screw this to the crankshaft and what they want you to do is and i already went through and did most of them they want you to put this on here and screw to the crankshaft. Now the easiest way I found to do it is you take your little screws, not your big ones. These are your little ones that you're using. Okay? Take your little ones. And just start them. Just start them in the uh, connecting rod cap. Okay, then I take my piston and put on, and this is kind of hard, especially if you got big hands or fingers like I do, I don't have a whole lot of dexterity. Try that again. Okay, we're gonna this one here. I'm gonna try to hold up my thumb. And it's gonna be kind of tight because these connecting rods don't have uh, threads in there. So you're cutting the threads in there. So it's gonna be a little bit tight getting that in there. Now, I don't know exactly how, tell, how, how tight it should be, but I would say you shouldn't see a gap right here, okay? If you see a, a big gap there, I see you need to tighten it down. All right, go through all of your pistons, put them together, install them on this crankshaft, get them all on there, take a picture of this and send it to me. This is where you stop. Do not go any farther than what we've done right here. Okay? So if you have any questions, let me know. Email me. Call me. We have a Google Meet. Whatever you need to do. We're going to stop right there.